Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today we are going to kick off the part two of my limited edition Mac collection and I'm going to pick up where I left off and we're going to continue on. So obviously I would re recommend you check out part one if you missed it. So let's go back here. This was the one I was up to when the camera so rudely interrupted me. This is the Leap of Faith lipstick. No, Leap of Delight. Leap of Delight. What am I thinking about? And this is a matte lipstick. It is from the Nutcracker Sweet collection, uh, which Mac did for Christmas quite a few years ago. And it's got this beautiful two-toned lipstick component. Quite nice. It's got this beautiful, deep, rich purple colour. Love it. I wish Mac would do more of these sort of two-toned colour moments because they're actually really pretty when matched nicely. So, yeah, really liked that. Next one is the, I think this is Wash and Dry Collection, Amplified Cream Lipstick. Let me see if I can find any information. Nope. And this is in Morange, so orange with an M at the start of it. There we go. And as you would expect, it is a very vibrant and in your face orange color. So there we go. Popping you back in there. I have got two of the Princesses Cinderella lipsticks here. So let's get into these. Um, one looks a lot different from the other, so I'm not sure if one is a fake and one is not, but that's just the way it goes, I guess. Sometimes you do pick up fakes, especially when you buy secondhand. This is called Royal Ball. And this is a luster lipstick. Gorgeous component. Gorgeous colour. So this baby pinky nude colour. Yeah, I have a feeling this one might be a fake or it might just be a different style. I'm really not sure. Just says luster on it. Hmm. I think this might be a fake lipstick. Component doesn't look fake, but I don't know. Sometimes it can be confusing because they do do like um, limited runs and things like that. So sometimes the lipsticks can look fake. I have a feeling this is a fake just from the way it feels. Huh, that's a shame. Oh well. What can you do? I've just got to pick up this box that I've just dropped on the floor. Yeah, I think that last one I showed you is a fake. It's still a pretty lipstick, but that's sometimes the case with MAC and buying secondhand. Okay, so that is that front portion. I am just gonna move this whole thing forward just a touch. Just enough so it doesn't fall over. <laughs> so I am going to start just behind here because that's where I left off. So I've got a Sharon Osborne um, blush compact here. And this is called Peaches and Cream Satin Blush. I think this is already an existing colour in Max Collection. But obviously um, in the Sharon Osborne limited edition packaging. Next one is a Mariah Carey blush. This is called Sweet Sweet Fantasy. Nice dusky pink colour. This is from the Wash and Dry Collection Powder Blush. Crisp Whites. Gorgeous colour with the Packaging and also the actual blush is pretty nice too. If I can open it, that would be great. Sort of like a nudie. Shows up a little bit more orange in person, but pretty cool.
This is Royal Flush. This is from the Botanic Panic collection, which is pretty recent. It's an extra dimension skin finish. It's got the gorgeous Botanic colour there. So it's a very deep colour. I like to use this more as a blush than anything else. And because it is so deep in colour, I just go with a really light hand and blend the heck out of it and it works pretty well. Next one is from one of the True Blossom collections. This is called Look, Don't Touch. I think this is the most recent Cherry Blossom collection that they've done. They do one every spring, pretty much, so they're pretty popular. Gorgeous design. Nice, corally, pinky kind of colour. I do like those colours. I do tend to go for them as much as I can because they're just gorgeous. Okay, so those are all the blushes in this part. I purely put the blushes in here because we're running out of room over there where the other ones are. So I'll show you those once I'm done with this section with all the lip things and stuff. So, yeah. So here we go. Here we've got some more of the unboxed lipsticks. This is also Wet and Dry Collection. It is called Steam Heat and it is a satin lipstick. More reds. <laughs> I made a joke on my last video. I think I buy reds the most out of all of them. MAC Aaliyah Lipstick. This one is called Try Again Lipstick. Matte Lipstick. It's cream. Creamy nudie colour. Well loved colour. This one, oh, what was this collection called? Sugar. I can't remember what the collection was called. Let me see if I can figure. This is the Beach Nut Matte Lipstick. Oh, I can't remember what this collection was called. It'll come to me. Nice purple lipstick. I do tend to go for the purple lipsticks quite a bit as well. Oh, this is called Mir Mirage Noir. Mirage Noir. It just came to me. This is a Max Selena lipstick. This is from the first Selena collection. This is called Dreaming of You Matte Lipstick, which is one of her favourite songs. Um, one of my favourite songs, I mean. It is one of her songs. So there's the gorgeous russety red colour there. I didn't get anything from the second Selena collection because it didn't come to Australia, sadly. So wasn't able to get it. This is the Brooke Candy Lipstick in uh, Witching Hour. It's a matte lipstick. Lovely colour. Sort of a bluey purple. This is a shiny purple lipstick, probably from one of the Christmas collections. It is called uh, Amplified Cream Lipstick. It's called Dark Side. Dark Side. It's a gorgeous burgundy colour. Yeah, when, when it's this sort of plain metallic packaging like this, it's usually a part of a Christmas collection. Um, so there you go. There is a Patrick Star lipstick without any packaging. I showed you one with packaging before. This one is called, oh, it's Peachy Peter once again. I've got two Peachy Peters. So if you saw the last video, you'll already know. It's a matte lipstick. Sometimes I do double up because I buy them secondhand and I forget what I have. Here's one from um, one of the uh, Chinese New Year collections. I think this might have been 2018, 2019. There you go, sort of like a peachy nudie colour. And it's called Peachy New Year Lipstick, Satin Lipstick. Yeah, well, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? There we go. This one, not quite sure where it's from. It is a matte lipstick and it is called Eugenie. Oh, um, this is the Giambattiglia Vasti collection. GM, I don't know how to say the name, sorry. Famous fashion designer. I, it just came, as soon as I read the name, I remembered it. Giambattiglia Vasti or Vasti, something. Someone who's Italian will 
Bruce find me in the comments. This one is the Viva Glam Rihanna lipstick. It's definitely seen better days. I did purchase this secondhand. I would never treat my lipsticks like this. But because the Riri stuff is so hard to come by, I had to get it. Yeah, even though the packaging sucks, I had to buy it. Uh, what's this one? Um, this was actually a regular line product. Um, it is the Love Me lipstick. Yeah, these are the Love Me lipsticks. I think they're still available now. This is the Let Them Eat Cake shade. So sort of like a pinky purpley kind of color. The rare time that MAC actually keeps some cool packaging in their mainline range. Oh, what's this one? Oh, this is a really old collection. I can't think of the name of the collection now. Um, it is uh, called Pretty Irresistible Matte. It says not for individual sale, so it was a part of a set. I'm guessing this was a Christmas lipstick. I know that there's an eyeshadow palette that looks like, like has this design to it. Um, I can't remember. But I didn't buy the eyeshadow palette because the person that was selling it was selling it for a way too high price. So I've got two of the black lipsticks. Here is the Pretty Punk Collection lipstick. This one is called Black Knight. It's a cream sheen. Wild colour, huh? It's not really black black, but sort of like a burgundy black. It's quite flattering. I know that sounds kind of crazy, even though it's a crazy colour. This is a just a regular... MAC component packaging but this is actually a sample lipstick called Ghost Town that's really really old so that's why I keep it because it's actually a sample um, and yeah it's this pearly white color it's insane so probably one of my favorites in my collection purely because sample lipsticks don't tend to wind up in people's regular collections so this is a mini lipstick. I wanted to keep it just because it's a mini size. Um, it is called Sip the Tea Luster Lipstick. It says not for individual sale. It did come with a mini lip gloss and a mini something else. I will show you those in the video as well. But I think it was like a mini pink set that they were giving away as a gift with purchase. I certainly didn't purchase these. Um, so there you go. Here is one of the lipsticks similar to what I showed you before um, in part one. I can't remember the name of the collection now. A Kiss of Stars, that's the collection name, and this is Starstruck. Oh, yeah, I already showed you this one in part one. This is a double up. So it's a crazy shiny lipstick. Um, it is just called lipstick. It doesn't even have a description. This is from the uh, Padma Lash Latchkey collection this lipstick no real identifiers that it's a Padma Lapshki lipstick <coughs> lipstick sorry this is called Sumac and it is a matte lipstick there we go gorgeous color sorry for the cough there my throat's getting a bit dry Here's another one of those um, Snowball Collection lipsticks. Gorgeous shimmery colour. It is called yeah, Warm Ice Frost Lipstick. This one at the back, I believe, is actually a part of their mainline range. It is the Fleur de Coral Luster Lipstick. Oh, I, don't, I can't remember if it's part of their mainline range or not. But there you go. I can't remember what collection. If it is a collection, I can't remember which one it is. Okay. So we're moving on to these ones here. Another Brooke Candy lipstick. Once um, This time actually in packaging, sorry. This is a matte lipstick. It's called Do What. This is a bright pink. This is the one I got confused for the Kelly Osborne collection, I think. There we are. Hot pink. Love it. Love, love, love this collection. So cool. She had some short-term success there. 
as an artist. This is one of the Cherry Blossom Collection lipsticks in Bloom Box, not Boom Box, Bloom Box instead. Gorgeous packaging, just simply the best. Nice sort of ready coral colour. Matte lipstick. Okay, what is this one here? It says sweet and vicious. Oh yeah, Mac and Cruella. Cruella. Gorgeous. Gorgeous pinky nude. Okay, next row up. Another Leap of Delight lipstick. I don't know how they got separated, but that's just the way it goes. I think I might have just run out of room. So that's the component. That's the lipstick. As you know, it's a matte. I'm just going to stop this video for a moment. My throat is giving me a little bit of hell. I'll just go and hydrate it and I'll be right back. Okay, so sorry about that. Oh, my throat was just giving me a bit of hell and it was affecting my voice as well. So I just want to try and keep my voice as moist as possible for you. Uh, yeah, I think it's because I was doing some cleaning around the house today and it's just some of the dust might have been irritating my throat. So I've got um, some of the MAC Aaliyah lipsticks in the packaging. Uh, yeah, that's the same one. So this is in Street Thing. And this is like a, it's like a shiny black colour. I'll get the exact description on here somewhere. Uh, frost lipstick, that's what they call them. Frost lipstick. Gorgeous. Gorgeous colour. So yeah, that's the exact same as the one next to it. So I won't go through that one. Okay. So the two little lip glasses behind it, they're the ones I was telling you about before, the mini ones. So I've got a dazzle glass here. Little dazzle glass, so cute. Love this little colour here. It's called Secret Secrets Dazzle Glass. And this is the regular lip gloss with that sort of pinky colour. It is called Don't Quote Me. <laughs> love it I love that this one I think this may be a regular line product uh, this is the play with me tender talk lip balm if they still sell the tender talk lip balms they were in the regular line range for a while so this is like a very sheer color because it's a lip balm so there you go whoops go this is Forget Me Naughty in the Botanic Panic collection. And it is a matte lipstick. Oh, this is a gorgeous colour. This is one of my favourites, I think. Ah, love this colour. The packaging and the colour just work so well together. Definitely a winning combo there. Okay. Next one along is the Tempting Fate lipstick called Dusky Grape or Dusty Grape, not Dusky. Dusty. Gorgeous packaging. Love this colour as well. One of the more sort of rich reds. Love it. Okay. Put that there. Oh, this is one of the most unique ones, I think, in my collection. This is the Tayana Taylor lipstick, and it is called A Rose in Harlem. Uh, and this design is off the chain. It's a matte lipstick. Look at that. Clear component. Well, clear with red. Once again, Pink component, red lipstick. I mean, I love red lipsticks. I can't lie to you guys. Just love the design of that one. It's definitely bigger than some of the other MAC lipsticks I have in my collection. 
I've got um, one of the mascaras. I believe this is currently available. It is the three, no, in Extreme Dimension 3D uh, Black Lash mascara. This is from one of those old cherry blossom collections. The Plenty of Pout Pumping Lip Plumping Lip Glass in Touch of Reverence. Reverence, yeah, that's that's what it is. Okay, two. These two lipsticks at the back, I think they may be fakes. Once again, the joys of buying secondhand, sometimes you do get fakes. I did actually do a tutorial removing the old lipstick in here because I knew for sure it was a fake. This is uh, MAC Nicki Minaj. Um, as you can tell straight away, it just says MAC on the top. That indicates to me it's a fake. There's no barcode on it. Oh, no, there is a barcode. But the barcode's completely different to other ones that I've seen. So I knew straight away it was fake. So I got rid of the lipstick inside because the lipstick was so dodgy. Um, it had hair in it. It just didn't look very nice. It looked like it had been smashed around. So I actually took a real existing MAC lipstick that I had in regular packaging and I put it in the Nicki Minaj packaging. So that's a great thing you can do if you do accidentally buy a fake MAC lipstick and you can't get refunded is to do that. I did get a full refund for this one. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's one of those things, you know, sometimes you do have to take a gamble, but I do recommend if you buy on eBay, make sure always PayPal. Um, so I was able to get my money back. This is the Mac Marilyn lipstick. I'm pretty sure this is a fake as well because it's got the Mac on the top, but, um, I did buy this in a, um, a bulk lot. So I don't think the seller genuinely knew this was fake because they sold me a lot of other MAC lipsticks that were real. So I'm guessing this person bought this secondhand as well. I mean, the whole shape of the lipstick's wrong. It's just not from the Marilyn collection at all. Um, there's the colour there. Um, the bottom is completely not what a MAC lipstick looks like. MAC lipsticks never look like that. On the bottom, they always describe the lipstick so yeah it, it can be disappointing to buy fakes um but sometimes the fakes are really good it's just one of those things like you just you just gotta be careful um yeah for me it wasn't worth requesting a refund or anything because like i said i did buy that with other mac lipsticks which made the price worth it so i didn't bother the seller like i said because i knew they were pretty honest because the other ones they had were legit so I didn't bother these two are from um, the most recent Lunar New Year collection uh, this one here is called Playing Koi this is uh, a powder kiss lipstick so these ones sort of have like a matte not a matte but powder kiss is kind of like a blotted matte look is the easiest way to describe it Love the two-tone packaging, as you know. I've sort of said that a couple of times now. I like when they do two different colours for the lid and the component. Just add something different. So, yeah, it's a nice blurring orangey coloured lipstick. As you know, I like my oranges because I have blue eyes. So it complements my blue eyes. So I'm going to pop you back. Oh, sugar. And this one here is the No Interruptions, and I think this is a... Yeah, this is a Versicolor Varnish Cream Lip Stain. They did try and do some different things for Lunar New Year this year, which I appreciated. Once again, really cool component. Love this sort of crazy component. There we go. Gorgeous color. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Sort of like a russety red. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, pop you back. Okay, we're almost done with this section of this, but I've got more on this side here, so let's keep going. So I've got the Floral Coral, and this is a Glow Play lip balm from the Cherry Blossom Collection, the most recent one. So this is in limited edition packaging. Same component on the bottom. Oh, actually, it's a different colour. It's a more ready colour. So peachy pinky colour for the lip balm itself. Okay. 
popped him back. And then I've got Goldfinch, which I believe this was Lunar New Year 2020. And this is a lip gloss. So this is a lip gloss. We are sort of getting into the lip gloss area now. I think the rest of these are all lip glosses. Stunning packaging. I mean, all the colours in this collection weren't exactly um, inspiring in any way, but I just thought let's go for the simple colour, you know. Because <laughs> why not? I think I've got about 10 million different freaking gold, um, what do you call it? lip glosses but who cares that's the way it goes this is another glow play lip balm i think this is in the regular packaging this is called 450 hello hello at me halo at me something like that it's got the glow play label on the side how cool is that and it's this sort of iridescent Clear colour, gorgeous. Works really well on all lips. I just love the colour of it. It's just stunning. Okay. This is one of the Star Trek lip glosses. This is called Warp Speed Ahead Lip Gloss. I think this is for the 50th anniversary because it's got the 50 on the front. Love this colour. It's sort of got bluey reflex gold reflex within oh perfection what else can you say it's perfection just lovely 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 i've got the viva glam rihanna lip gloss once again pretty rare um in terms of people wanting to resell it let me just get it out off camera so it took a bit of effort to get this one love the color it's got this sort of, it's red with these beautiful pinky reflex stunning color works really well with her lipstick as well love it love it love it love it okay so we are getting into the final area some of my favorites are over here so i'm excited this is from the wash and dry collection lip glass once again beautiful gold milky kind of color it is called girl on board love that color we've got a mac trolls lip glass and this is in Glitter Grunge. The packaging on these is stunning. I'm not a Trolls fan in general. That's something I'm not really into. But the colour of this. Oh, look at the packaging. And the lip gloss is pretty nice as well. Sort of like a purpley colour with gold. Gold reflex. Love it. Got a Cinderella lip gloss. This one is called Glass Slipper. This is an authentic Mac product. Oh, sugar. I let that slip out of my hand. So it's sort of like a nudie colour with pink reflex. Oh, stunning. Just love it. You wouldn't expect anything less from Cinderella, and it does play really well with the lipstick as well. Next, I have some of the really old lip glasses. This is the MAC Toledo lip gloss and it is called Tenor Voice. Once again with the slips, the slips let you know that it is a very old MAC product because the newer ones don't tend to come with slips. Oh, stunning. Beautiful rich red. No sort of reflex to it that I can see. No sort of glitter or anything. It is what it is. And what it is is beautiful, so that's good. Next one along is a pretty rare one. It is the Liberty of London and MAC lip gloss. It's called A Different Groove. Stunning inside packaging as well. Oh, 
definitely one of my favorites in the collection the packaging is stunning the color itself is really unique it's sort of like a brownie color with some gold and pinky ready reflex oh definitely one of my top five in my collection just because of the rarity and the design like I said just gorgeous another one that is a favorite just because it is so old this is um totally farfy collection I think or just farfy but the lips uh the lip glass is called totally it so it's got the slip oh love it considering it's so old it's in great condition so pinky color with pink reflex not an unusual color at mac or anything but the design is just stunning i just love it it's so unique and then the ones on the left i know I've, I've said that probably five times in the last minute but the ones on the left are definitely some of my favorites as well let me just turn that around there we go the simpsons lip glasses I got so lucky with these. Someone was selling these. I did pay quite a lot of money for them. Not above retail, thank goodness, but I did pay quite a lot for them. This is the red blazer one. A nod to Marge's time when she did um, real estate and she sold Flanders the murder home, remember? If you remember The Simpsons. So this is sort of like a very light, pearly... Not much like pearliness in there, but there is a light pearliness to this hot pink. So there you go. Pop that back. Itchy, scratchy and sexy. <laughs> Silly name, I love it. And this is, once again, sort of like a pearlescent, purpley colour. Love it. I would never use these. These are definitely just collection purposes kind of ones. But And this one is Nacho Cheese Explosion. <laughs> this one's a fun colour. I'm glad I have this one. Literally like a yellow, like a Simpsons yellow with a little bit of a shine to it as well. Love it. Okay, so that is all for that part of the... Thing. I'm just going to pop that there. Um, I did also get this somewhat recently in an order. The Powder Kiss lipsticks um, in a little sample thing. I will not be using this or giving this to anyone. I am going to keep this purely for collection purposes. Uh, you know, it's just a little something different. I just like it for that. And it's got the little Chinese Mandarin characters on there, which appealed to me as well. Might actually just pop it. See if I can slide it in the side. There we go. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit. So at the back here, I've got um, the Mac Hint of Hollywood boxes. There's nothing actually inside them from the collection. They were just too nice to um, give away or um, put in the recycling bin. I just couldn't bring myself to do that. So that's why they live over there. But what I am going to do for now is I am just going to lift this out. And we'll get to the final part of this video. Um, there will be definitely a part three because I haven't done these at the back. I will show you those in my next video. But it's definitely too many to go through in this video. Okay, so here is another lot of things. Let's dive in. We'll go with the front. This is from the Min Lu collection for MAC. It's called All Year Red, and this is like a red, like, cream colour base. I would have called it like a stain. It's gorgeous. Sleek packaging. So it's like a cream colour base, yeah. There we go. Very flexible. You could use it for anything, really. Lips, cheeks, whatever took you fancy. Next item along is from the Harry Reid collection. And this is called, it is a Embrace Your Duality cream colour base also. Look at this packaging. Looks like a book, doesn't it? 
Oh, love it. So you've got the sparkly highlighty kind of shade and then you've got a cream blush. Beautiful. That snap was so satisfying as well. And then I've got the Brook Shields and MAC cream colour base uh, called Cherished. So it's two colours, Cherished. Very old. The Brook Shields collection is quite old. Okay, so these lip glasses here, all from the Hint of Hollywood collection. The red one is called Hashtag Winner. These are all matte, by the way. And this one's called a Prey Soiree, the burgundy one. And this is hashtag winner. There we go. The three at the back are from Christmas 2020. They had like a firework, fire spark kind of collection. This one is called Break the Ice lip gloss. Sort of like a bronzy colour with pink reflex. Classic kind of silvery, icy, white kind of clear colour. It's called Spark Joy. And this ready lip glass with some pink and gold glitter is called, oh, what's it called? Shiny in no snow snow in love snow in love snow in love there you go I'm short sighted so trying to read some of these labels is <laughs> crazy I should have brought my glasses for this but oh well it doesn't matter got two of the lip glasses from I think this was 2019 collection for Christmas this one's called Star Fucker. And this one is called, hey, yeah. yeah. starring you, starring you. And it was like the starry collection or something. I've, I can't remember. I, I've looked it up about 10 times now, but there you go. Mac Leah lip gloss, stunning classic kind of slightly caramelly color. Goldy colour. It's called Brooklyn Born. Brooklyn Born. And then one of the Oh Sweetie lip glasses. And this one is called Caramel Sugar. And these have a different scent to them than the regular sort of MAC vanilla scent. Got this insanely coloured emeraldy lip gloss it's called peace love unity and respect it's a grand illusion liquid lip color this is called let's rock grand illusion liquid lip color once again stunning color very unique it's got like this greeny reflect to it even though it's gold it's insanely beautiful push it down it doesn't want to fit there we go this is another one in this style this sort of pearlescent pink color dance all night and it is a sample i don't know if they ever made it um in the mainline range or for a limited edition collection but it is a sample and then i've got this lip gloss here not sure what this collection is and it's called Female Gaze Lip Glass. Female Gaze. Interesting name. I've got one of the Patrick Star Lip Glasses from the Christmas collection he did a few years ago. And it is called Silent Night. Oh, love this colour. So it's that purple with the blue reflect to it. Oh, stunning. Perfect for the festive season. I've got this um, Mac and Park Hyung. Hyung. Um, this is a Plenty of Pout Pumping Lip Gloss. And this collection sold out like crazy. This was insane. 
um, I struggled to buy anything from this collection. I had to buy this second hand. This is um, Plenty of Power. Oh, it's just called Plenty of Power. Okay. Fair enough. It is sort of like a pearlescent nudie colour. Really pretty. So there we go. Really different design as well. I really liked the design um, of this collection, kind of like the moon and the stars. I think that's why it appealed to so many people. The item behind there is a Mac and Cruella item. This is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colour. And it is in Queen of Mean. There you go. So it's like a nudie pink colour. It's really pretty. Looks great on the lips. I did do a demo of it um, when I reviewed the Matt Corella collection. Looks gorgeous. This is from their sort of Aztec collection. I don't know the exact name. I think it might have been called Mosaic or something. And this is the Patent Polish Lip Pencil. And it is in Tumbleweed. Gorgeous design. This is one of my favourite designs that Mac's ever done. I really like this sort of Aztec-y, mosaic -y kind of design. And it's just a basic sort of nudie colour. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, we're almost there. I will finish this off and then that'll be the end of part two. Um, but stay tuned for part three and maybe part four. We'll see how we go. So here we go. Here is one of the Mac Aladdin lip glasses. This is called Magic Carpet Ride. Gorgeous colour this is. So it's sort of like quite a light colour, but it does have some pinky reflex in there. How stunning is that? The Mac Aladdin collection definitely was really stunning, naturally beautiful collection. And this one is called Diamond in the Rough. I think that describes me perfectly. <laughs> and this is the gold reflect one. Stunning. Natural, like not natural lip colours, but just something that works with everything is always nice to have. So I've got three of the um, Electric Wonder lip glasses, as you can see. Beautiful packaging. This one's Make Me Mercutial. Oh, beautiful colour. Obviously quite a deep ready kind of colour with ready reflex to it. Just stunning. Another one here. It's called, oh, wrong way. Nature Freak. Beautiful true gold lip gloss with gold reflex. This is Marble Fawn. Marble Fawn. Gorgeous sort of pearlescent, silvery, clear colour. So once again, nice colours with the Electric Wonder Collection. Something for everyone. This one is from their bronzy collection they had a while ago, this lip glass. It's called Out of This Pearl. This was a nice, gorgeous, natural colour as well. Sort of like a bronzy colour with the gold reflex, really pretty over most lipsticks and even just on a natural lip is always nice. And then the rest of them, oh, except for one of them, um, actually I'll get that one out of the way. This is the Tiana Taylor lip gloss and it's tens across the board. <laughs> Love the name, really fun. Oh, love it. Just stunning, vibrant red. It does have some reflex in it. It's kind of not picking up on camera completely, um, but there are some sort of ready reflex in there as well. It's just such a stunning colour. Such a bright, um, well, not bright, bold colour. That's the word, bold colour. 
So here are the Oh Sweetie lip glasses. I already showed you caramel sugar, but here's one in the package. I will just open it up for you. Stunning color. Not so much on me, but um, on a deeper skin tone, that would look absolutely wild. Key Lime Trifle, I've got two of those. Two of those in my collection. This is a wacky color. So amazing for Halloween. The shine on it is insane. It looks just crazy on the lips. It's so fun. Great, um, great as a sort of eyeshadow, like a really iridescent eyeshadow as well. It's just wild and fun. Got the strawberry tort. Oh, I mean, come on. So good. And like I said, these all smell like the desserts that they're meant to represent. As you can see, there is some goldy reflect in there that is picking up on the camera. Oh, love it. One of my favorite colors, I think, out of all of them. Uh, and this is raspberry pavlova. Open you up. Oh, once again, subtle reflex they are sort of pinky reflex gorgeous so there we go that is part two done like i said there will be definitely a part three perhaps a part four so you'll have to stay tuned for that but yes until next time take care and i hope to see you again soon bye for now